On the eve of Veterans Day, Central Oregon Community College is shining a spotlight on a special military connection with the Cascade Culinary Institute. It trains Coast Guard members for chef duties to serve its stations and vessels. Kelsey McGee paid a visit to the kitchen today. There are a few kitchens in the building on the COCC campus. The department's chair and one of the instructors, Wayne Yeatman, says CCI has become the preferred choice for the Coast Guard. The Cascade Culinary Institute at Central Oregon Community College works closely with the U.S. Coast Guard, which sends active duty personnel to the school for training as chefs. What's really exciting about that is we are teaching those students to go back to the Coast Guard and become culinary teachers themselves. The program offers degree and certificate programs in the culinary arts, baking and pastry arts, as well as hospitality management. I've always loved to cook. I cooked at home a lot. And I really thought, wow, you know, that maybe I could do that job day in and day out. Deal has been a part of Cascade Culinary Institute for a year and a half. There have been four COSTIs, an informal term used by many in the culinary program over the past three years, starting a new student each year. Originally, I was only going to join for four years, um, you know, get the GI Bill and get out and go to college. Um, but after almost 12 years now, I decided to stay in and make a career out of it just because I really enjoyed the job. He says he found out about the culinary specialist job through boot camp. We get selected for the, uh, this advanced education program through the Coast Guard. Um, you get to select wherever you want to go, whichever culinary school. I hadn't even heard of Ben before that, and, but everyone highly recommended the school. The neatest thing about being a cook in the Coast Guard is that um, you get judged three times a day, but in the best possible way. It's like cooking for your family. COCC Associate Professor of Culinary Arts Thor Erickson tells me that last year the college had nearly 500 students who had served in the military. Kelsey McGee, News Channel 21.